Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing another real-time portrait sketching walkthrough and this time we're drawing Tripti Dimri as Bul Bul. I absolutely love this movie and yeah, we're gonna be sketching her today. The pencil that I will be using is my Black Queen Matte. We're gonna use just that one for today, but you can use multiple. So, like always, we start off with the structures of her head first and always start off with the circle, which is the very top of the skull. And as you can see, since she is looking a little bit up, the line that cuts through the sphere isn't fully straight. It's a little bit off towards an angle. And then we're gonna be marking out the length of her chin which is about the length of another half of the circle and then once we have that we'll just be drawing another line that goes straight down to the center of her face and that would be where we focus her features and the side of the circle is a little bit more flat so we're gonna have this flat circle on that side and we're gonna have a cross to represent that it's a flat surface and then conveniently right at the center is where we're gonna start drawing in her ear too once we have that top part of her skull, now we're just gonna connect her jawline to where it meets on her chin. I really just try to follow the reference photo at this point. We don't have to be too accurate right now, we just need to have a placeholder for her features and the structures of her head. And then what we're gonna do is draw in her neck. I really love the length of her neck, so I'm trying to get that on this drawing. And then we're just following in with her shoulders as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is draw another line from the top of her ear that cuts across the skull for the eye line. And then another one starting from below the ear. And this one is gonna be for the bottom of her nose. And then for her mouth line, it's just gonna be about halfway from her nose to her chin. And so now what we're gonna do is try to place in her nose on her face and the center line really makes it easy. But for now, we're just gonna be making sure that we get the broadness of it right and the underside of her nose represented right here with a triangle. And then once we have that very defining part of her face, what we're now gonna do is try to mark out her eyebrows because we need somewhere to place in her eyes after. See right here that I'm using the broadness of her nose to gauge in the length of her eyebrows and also where to start her eyeballs, which I really like drawing in first because it makes it easier to draw the eyes after. This one on the left right here is closer to the nose just because of how we're looking at her face from. And then we're gonna have her mouth line before we start in with her lips, just making sure that it's as broad as in the photo. And then we're also making sure that there's enough space for both her chin and her lower lip. And we're gonna do the same thing for the upper one and her nose. So now we're gonna try to place in her hairline and while we're drawing it, we're making sure that we're leaving out enough space for her features before where her hairline ends. And after we have that, we're then gonna try and roughly place out the volume of her hair on top of her actual head. And her hair in the movie is beautiful, it's very thick, and so I'm gonna try to get the shapes that they are making first before we start in with the values. Just really want to create a space for her hair before we really start to shape out her face. So what we're doing now is trying to get the contours of her profile right. Her features are a mix of being angular and also very soft and so this is actually very important. Towards the end of this drawing I actually had to erase some of my lines just because of how soft her features actually are but when we're first starting out, it's good to have them more defined. We could always tweak them later on when we need to. So right here is when we're slowly gonna add more volume to her brows, make sure that they're arching above her eyes in the right way. And then what we're gonna do is draw in the bridge of her nose and pay attention to the little dips of her nose. It's very straight, but there's a lot of personality to it that really needs to shine through. Also the same thing with how 
her nostril is curved under her nose and then we just have this curve right here on the side and so after that is time to draw in her lips the opening of the mouth is more important than you think and so I always like to start with that before going in with the actual curves of her lips and again this is very light because I'd rather shade in the lips than outline them on my sketches and so after that it's time to draw in her eyes and since we already have her eyeballs placed it's very easy to make out how her eyelids would fold over the curves of that sphere and because of how we're looking at her eyes from they're very differently shaped this one right here on the right we would see more of the full eye and we also see more of where it pinches right on the very corner versus this one on the left which we can see more of the side of the actual eyeball on and less of the left corner of that eyeball and then we're just gonna have the irises in we should pay more close attention to how much white is left on the eyes rather than drawing in the irises that just makes it easier for me and then the fold of her upper eyelid is very important hers are very pronounced so they actually add a lot to the shape of her eyes so now that we have her features down what we're gonna do is correct some of the shapes of her hair and also her ear i think it was too close to her head and was making her face too narrow so we're just gonna erase that for a bit and now what we're gonna do is put in a very light and even stroke of shadow to her hair the idea behind this is to separate it from the rest of her head so we can make out her features more and so we can see if the proportions of the overall photo is right. I also just want to add in her earring right here because I really like it. And then we're also then going to start to the shape in her clothes. And again, just as a placeholder, everything else we'll add more onto later. For now, what we're gonna do is mark in the contours of her nose, and this is gonna help out a lot with the shading later. And once we have that in there, you're just gonna do the same thing to her irises that we did to her hair. And for right here, I'm actually using a very dull part of my pencil so that so that my shading is more even and less harsh and I'm just using that to shade in her lips first to give them to give them more definition and then mark out the shadows that I want for the rest of her face so right here on her eye and then and then we go to where it ends on her forehead before again going back to her nose which I really think is the most important part of her face so I so I focus a lot of my shading on there also want to leave out that highlight right above her nostril because there's light hitting that too and then for around her eyes we want to make sure we get the roundness of them right and the softness of of her eyes and so there's a lot of softer shading that's around it and I'm moving my pencil around on my paper because I'm trying to keep the very sharp part of the tip of my pencil away from the shading so I'm actually rotating my pencil around while I do the shading on here and even though this is only the first pass of shading I'm actually already leaving out some parts of the highlights and shaping in her face so right here I've marked out her cheek and then doing the same thing for the upper part of her lips so that I actually create this outline of highlight on her upper lip and for her lower one we're going to continue that shadow all the way to her jaw before softly raising our pencil as we get closer to her cheek. And again, make sure that you're keeping the sharp part of your pencil away from these shadings so we don't get very harsh lines. They kind of look harsh relatively, I think, to other portraits, but for me, these are very soft shadings. And especially with how fast this sketch actually is, I really needed those fast but soft strokes of my pencil.
So for here on our neck, I'm focusing the darker shadows right onto the side. Before we go back in, this time on our hair and with a little bit more force on our pencil when we're marking out the darker shadows of her hair. So our pencil is angled on the paper in the same way but this time I'm just adding the slightest bit more force to it onto the paper so that our lines are darker but yet it remains softer and, and will still allow some sharper definitions after. So we're just moving these darker shadings outside of her hair and slowly building in the values for it. And so then after that's done, what I'm doing now is actually going in with a sharper pencil. And I'm using that to add more of the details now on to her face and starting from her eyes. We're mostly outlining it. Around this time, what I just want to do is make sure that we get the roundness of her eyes white because um, it really represents her innocence at this stage in her life. And I really wanted to get that. It's in stark contrast to her for most of the movie. So we're getting that right. Then we're also adding in these darker lines for her eyebrow. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the more defining shadows of her face, so right there on her nose. And then we would go in for her lips again. Just on the darkest parts of her lips, we're leaving everything out. We just want to make sure that we get her mouth line right because it really shapes out her lips. Then we we'll slowly start to add in a little bit of shading, but because my pencil is very sharp at this point, again, I'm just making sure that it's still soft that way. I'm also just erasing some parts of her chin right here. I want to make it look more rounded before I go to her other eyebrow. I actually have a, had a lot of trouble with her eyebrow right here. I always seem to have trouble lately with eyebrows, I don't know why, but this did take a couple of tries for me to get. Um, the main thing is, we're in the early stage of the sketch, so we could always change it out later. And then I'm also making sure that I'm lightly shading in her bindi right here, before going back into this right eye. So. Because there was a lot of shading on this one, we actually had to make sure that I'm adding a little bit more pressure with my very sharp pencil so that these details come out. The positioning of her irises actually play a lot of role in her expression, so I really tried to get them to be accurate to the photo. We're going to this eye, and then we're going to add more shading to her nose right here. Make sure you start from the darkest areas and do the same thing for her eyes and her lips. And then we're gonna go back to her eye again. We're also adding the slightest bit of shading to her eye bag before I lightly correct her mouth line. I think, I think before it was too narrow and also too dark. So just that very slight correction really changed the shape of her lips, I think. And we're gonna add more shading to her lips to reshape them a little bit more. So after that what we're gonna do is go back in to her ear. And this time we're starting to slowly add in the darkest details and then also try to reshape it because before it was too dark and almost just blended in with her hair so what we're doing is instead of shading the whole thing is we're shading around it too to reinforce its shape and then we're gonna do the same thing for her neck right here before we go back into her hairline and slowly start to add in her hair strands we're making sure that we're 
first clumping them into the shapes that they that they make on her head and keeping in mind where are, where they are growing from her scalp. I'm also using the sharpest parts of my pencil right now so we can really see the direction that the hair strands are going at. Since before the shadings before this were using the blunt end of my pencil. So now the, the lightest pencil strokes on this layer just shows up beautifully on top. Right here towards where the hair strands are the darkest, just make sure to add in a little bit more pressure to our pencil. But aside from that, everything else just needs to breathe a little bit more. I think the main thing that I did wrong for this sketch was her hair and that I just made it too dark, especially on this layer where I should have been more careful. But I think that on some of these areas I was too dark. I was going at it like I was still shading even though I was already using the darkest value that I could get with my pencils. So I would advise you guys to work more with layers. I still ended up liking it but since I did the sketch a while ago, I sort of have the advantage of hindsight and I can kind of see the parts where I would improve on. So right here, just really make sure that the shadows are darkest where, where they touch her neck and her back because that really shapes them out and it really emphasizes the length of her neck. So now what I'm doing is adding in her earring. I didn't really account for it when I did the initial sketch, but as I was doing the shading, I think that it really adds some more interesting points composition-wise to the sketch, so I just added it in. The first thing I did was draw in the outlines and then cleaned it up with my pencil and then instead of shading it in, I am shading around it so bring the shape of her earring out and I'm doing the same thing to the rest of it and making sure that the earring itself is lighter than the neck and that I'm bringing it out by shading the shadows outside of it. I do then go back to some parts of her earring but the shading that's on there i want to keep it super light so that it doesn't blend in to her skin and whenever the shadows are the darkest i just want to make sure that i get that really dark to get as much contrast of, out of it as i can So now what I'm doing is also doing the same thing to her necklaces. I want to make sure that I first sketch in the shapes, although this time it's not in shadow so it's not going to be as shaded in with as much detail as her earring, but the process is very similar, sketching it out before adding in some of the shading after. It's just making sure that the values of her skin isn't the same as her clothes or her jewelry. And so now that everything is on there, what we're going to do is actually finalize some of the details of the sketch. And we're starting from her nose. I think that the line that I had going initially was too dark. So what I'm doing is getting my eraser and getting in that very light stroke of highlight before it reaches her eyes. I'm making sure that I get my highlight on there and that the rest of the line that replaces it is a little bit lighter so that it softens up her face more. 
also making sure that I'm adding some of these very lightest strokes of shadow right here and especially as it goes towards her forehead and then what I'm doing right now is adding in this hair strand right here I just wanted to add that in there so that when I erase some of the line that's on her cheek that we don't lose the overall shape of it and I'm also doing the same thing to the rest of her hair just adding more hair strands that are away from the bigger clumps of hair and then we're gonna go back in right here towards her eyebrow where I just wanted to get the shape right this is the part where I was having a hard time with and so it took a few passes in. I'm also just adding in this piercing right here on her nose, which again, I sort of forgot about. But I just drew in the outline first and then I took my eraser and erased around it. And so I'm also going to go back to her neck right here and add just very soft shading over it. So it actually makes her face look more bright. Just make sure that my pencil strokes right here are soft and that it doesn't overwhelm the rest of the painting. And then the final adjustments that I'm going to do to this sketch is actually just with my eraser. And just like I planned, I am then using it to soften up these lines that are on her profile. I think just adding more softer lines to her face would make her look more youthful and I think it did but yeah that is it for this sketch. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite sketches to do and that is it for this one. I have another painting coming of the same movie and I will be uploading that sometime soon but thank you guys for watching and I will be seeing you guys again for the next one.